After being shrunk back to smaller scale thanks to the pandemic, Fan Expo is back at full size. Roughly 130,000 fans are expected at the second largest convention of its kind in North America. See you on the other side. On the other side. The big draw, the cast of Stranger Things, especially... Joseph Quinn. Why? Um, he's amazing. <laughs> For $130, you can get a photo with Eddie. I just really admire him as an actor, and I want to meet him. My patience is waning. Is this entertaining? Another show drawing crowds is the superhero satire, The Boys, starring Jesse T. Usher as A-Train. The fan base is already here, so it's nice to engage with them. Yeah, the boy shirt. And with all sorts of merch for fans, there's other tangible benefits. In this area, Laz Alonzo, who plays Mother's Milk, is still learning. Jesse is the man. He is, I, I, he's Yoda when it no. comes to the con setup. No, I'm learning. I'm like young Luke Skywalker. I, I still haven't earned my lightsaber yet. Conventions like these started all about comic books. The first Comic Con was back in 1970. A three day ticket cost $3.50, but now, fan experiences and catering to this crowd have grown into multi-million dollar media launching pads. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Back in the corner, you can still find comic book artists marveling at how things have changed. And we constantly talk about how when we were kids, you'd get beat up for wearing a Batman shirt. Now you get beat up if you don't wear a Batman shirt. A recent viral TikTok of an apartment filled with windows watching the latest Game of Thrones spin-off demonstrated just how mainstream these fan fantasies have become. All of these different fandoms, as they get more popular, it's expanding its way, you know, to all different audiences. And it's it's great to see that because that goes back to the diversity conversation. It's allowing more people to feel included. And that's why they come here. <laughs> this whole convention is about community, yeah. and it's about just being together, appreciating fan culture, and it's a very inclusive environment. Eli, you've been to a lot of these. Uh, what's different about this year? That pent-up demand. Look, it's been a tough couple of years. A lot of the fans, they had to take a break. They missed this. And so to be back, just the joy in, yeah, being able to play, dress up, to pretend for a day, to be part of your community, whatever, wherever they are. And, and listen, I got to ask you this. When you wriggled into that suit, burst out of the telephone booth, whatever happened, how did that feel? <laughs> you know, um, it's a combination of chagrin and joy. Like, it is fun to step into the skin of the heroes and the fantasies that you watch. You are our superhero. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome.